parboil them spuds before you roast them. All this is getting way out of hand, this bit of tit-for-tat that you're playing with Steve. Yeah, well, if it keeps him out of Amy's life for good, Dad, it'll be worth it. Shop-bought Yorkshires? What are you thinking of? They'll be fine. Oh, it's the convenience culture gone mad. <laughs> Look, if you want homemade Yorkshires, be my guest. Charming. Ken, Tracy's got every right to be angry. I mean, Steve's tricked her once with the birth certificate, and now this latest stunt. Surely you can't put all the blame on Steve. You're always so even-handed, aren't you, Dad? Always sitting on that fence. Well, for once, you're going to have to take sides. I'm your daughter. The choice shouldn't be that difficult. If you can't make Yorkshires, just say so. But encouraging her and her belief that what she's doing is right is not... I know, I know, love. But... If she feels we're not on her side, I, I mean, what real ties has she got around here? She's got no job, no fella, no real friends, even. But the way she's been behaving... Yeah, but you know what she's like. If she thinks we're having a go, she'll be off to London or abroad, even. And without us around to look out for her, I worry what sort of future Amy's got to look forward to. I mean, I'm just saying it's... Knitting needles. Do you stock them? Does this look like a wool shop? I were only asking. Here, yeah. did you know that uh, Jason Grimshaw tried to get Gail Platt into bed? What are you talking about? Well, the, here, just now. And he tried to get her into bed in the middle of the day? No, no, no. They said it happened before. Before what? Before you lost the plot? Oh, get a grip, man. Do you think a young fella like that will be interested in Gail Platt? She's a grandmother. Oh, well, I, I, I think that's what they said. Anyway, Eileen Grimshaw definitely had a man stay overnight. Oh, that's whose car it is, is it? Who is it? I don't know. What use is half a story? You're slipping. Well, well you, can, can you blame me? I, I've been stuck behind this counter for ages. I've had no break and that door's not stopped opening all morning. Where's Rita? Oh, she took herself upstairs ne nearly, well, nearly two hours ago. Said she'd be 20 minutes. Honestly, she's the most selfish person I know now. I'm, I'm desperate for the toilet. Get, can, can you hold the fort? I'm in the middle of a bubble stitch jumper. Oh, two minutes. Oh. Go on, then. Right. I'll, I'll go and fetch her ladyship. If I know her, and I do, she'll be stuffing soft centres and reading bridal magazines. Rita! Oh, there you are. Look, you said you'd be down in 20 minutes. That was over an hour and a half ago. <laughs> it's no good just trying to ignore me, because it... Rita? Rita! <laughs> what about them? Are they them? Well, these have got windows in. I want them plain. Well, you'll have to hang on. He's just answering a call of nature. Hey, would you like a mint? They're very nice. Does Rita know you're eating her stock? I'm compensating myself for inconvenience. Look, I, I just want a refund. What's wrong with them? Note. They were a present. I'd rather have the money. There's horse running this afternoon. Have I've you got, got a receipt? No, I've got a receipt. Well, then how do I know if you bought them here? Uh, yeah, Norris. Norris, will you explain to her? About time. Norris, whatever's the matter? It's Rita. Rita? What about her? I, I, I went upstairs. I, I, I thought she was sleeping. She, she's not had a fall, has she? No, no she's on the sofa. Norris, what's happened? She's dead. Dead? <laughs> it must have been a very sudden heart attack. Or oh, not Rita. I can't believe it. She, she said she was tired. She said she needed a nap. Are you sure? I mean, perhaps we should phone for an ambulance. I know a dead person when I see one. Well, why don't you go look for yourself? She was always a strong one. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm having to think. I was downstairs calling her all sorts. <laughs> She's up here enjoying her last breath. You can't blame yourself. Oh, I do. I mean, the last words we spoke were words in anger. I'll never forgive myself. <sighs> She's... Uh, 
She's in there. Well, go on, then. I, I, I can't. You go. I'm not going in first. Well, she's not going to jump up at you. She's dead. I don't want to see her. Look, look, look but, but perhaps we should go back downstairs and phone for a doctor, eh? Oh, give over your big Jesse. Get in. Well, you go. No, no, I, I'm comforting Sal, aren't I? Because I thought she might have died of something contagious. Oh, call yourselves men. Oh, do you smell it? The stench of death. Will you give over? Oh, I can't bear this. She was like a mother to me. She must have gone very sudden. She's at peace now. Oh, it's a ghost. Oh, what are you doing? She's alive. Are you really alive? Well, of course I am. Well, what's going on? Oh, well, don't look at me. You, you thought she was dead as well. I wasn't the only one. Dead? Only because you said she were dead. Well, just sitting there, mouth open and dangling. I couldn't feel a pulse. I'm not surprised under all that makeup. And you thought I was dead. God, you're not. I don't know about you having a heart attack. When you open them eyes, I nearly have them myself. Oh, Norris. Oh, you really take the biscuit. Hey, you didn't. You didn't try and give me the kiss of life, did you? Oh, did you see that? Uh, what was that look for? Are you talking to me? You know I am. Looking at me as if I was something you'd trod in. Oh. Are you jealous? I see. I know you lied about Phil being booked up. Bet you were pig sick when he fitted me in. I was surprised. How anybody would go anywhere near your feet after seeing the state of your neck curtains is beyond me. Do you know, he said that my feet were a joy to touch. Bet he was only touching yours because you were throwing yourself at him. At least I didn't have to pay for it. At least I'm not a charity case and he was worth every penny. I bet you had to pay for extra as well. I can't think anybody would spend the night with you without some compensation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And the only thing a man wants to do with you is drive you into the canal. You only got interested in Phil because you knew I liked him. Oh, can I help it if he finds me more attractive than you? I mean, and is it any wonder that fellas run a mile with your track record? Have any of your kids seen their fathers? I should have to think what goes on under your roof. Strays and alley cats. Someone needs to throw cold water over the lot of yeah, you. All right, that's enough. You're making fools of yourselves. Come. You couldn't put me on another slice of toast, could you, Deirdre? Save me getting up. Oh, can't Tracy do it? I've got a stinking hangover this morning. Mum, I was up with Amy in the night. I'll do it then. Don't worry about me. Even if I am a cripple, I can manage. Oh, I'll do it. I hope you're not still thinking about turning Queen's evidence this afternoon. Oh, that's my reward, is it? The way you've been carrying on lately, aiding and abetting the enemy. Why don't you try exaggerating, Mother? It might make your point a bit clearer. What, uh, what else would you call him? I'm just trying to get a balanced picture. There's no room for balance with your own flesh and blood. Tracy and a stranger lying injured in the road. Who do you go to first? Well, Tracy, obviously. Well, this is no different. Grant, it's all right. Me and Mum have had a good chat about it. Nobody's going to take Amy away from Tracy. It's just to see whether Steve can have contact. And we all know what he means by that. Contact and kidnap I mean the same thing to him. Grant, stop going on about it. There's no way Mum can do anything that's going to affect my chances. Are we sure to milk? Sorry? Well, it's not but a drop in mine. Well, there's some in the jug. I can't reach that. I swear that surgeon left somewhat inside me. Every time I as much as move... Which is I... hardly ever. Have you seen this? Oh, is it new? New leak pink, yeah. Have you put it in the wash with something red? <gasps> Why me? Am I the only one who does any washing? Mum, this was my favourite. I was going to wear it today. Should I make her some coffee? Oh, ta. Anybody else? I'm still waiting for milk in my tea. Oh. 
Just go steady. Anyway, what you're wearing looks fine. This look better. I'll try some of that colour stuff on it later. She does it to my clothes all the time. Well, then why haven't you had a go at her about it? Then she wouldn't have done this to this. Did you sleep well? What do you think? So, have you two got anything planned for today? Yes, we have, and I was planning to wear that. Well, if you are going out, I don't mind seeing to Amy, you know, getting her ready. Look, I'm going to have a bath. You'll have to listen out for me. I need help getting out. Oh, thank you. Nice to know I can rely on somebody. You know what? I could strangle her sometimes. It's all me, me, me. Never a word about what I'm going through. Oh, have you shrunk this and all? Oh. OK, there's nothing of you. You'd need your shoehorn and a tub of grease to squeeze <laughs> some people into one of them things nowadays. Tracy will be down in a minute. Sure. I'll put another pin in that side. Oh, honestly, Deirdre, you've got fingers like flipping sausages. You'll be stabbing the poor lass. Sorry. Listen, now, I'll go and see what's keeping Tracy. Here, hold this. Sure. This really suits you. Bonny girl, isn't she? Mm. So, do you think Jason will approve? If he doesn't, he's got water in his veins, not blood. Yeah, um, Blanche was just taking it in. Didn't fit properly before. Trust me, it does now. <laughs> what do you mean, now? I can't do it. Oh, this tops a lot, this does. I'm sorry about this, mate. She's been having a few problems. Upstairs. No, I mean, yes, I have been having a few problems, and I keep blaming myself, always myself. But it's you, Charlie. It's been with you. She's lost it. I was OK before I met you. Everyone keeps telling me that you destroy me, that you go with other women. And now they finally got through to you, then. And I kept denying it and denying it and denying it because I was so scared, I was so scared of losing you. But you are destroying me. You do go with other women. I've seen it with my own eyes. And you made me feel like it was my fault. You made me feel scared and you made me feel inferior. I can't trust you. I can't marry you. Yes, 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 I knew she didn't know you in here. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Do you think they wrote their own vows? <laughs>